Hey y'all, it's Baby Scorpio here with a collected message for the whole week. So if you resonate with this message, this message is definitely for you, okay? So the overall energy of this week, I am using the Moonology deck. So let's see what my ancestors, angels, and spirit guides have to say about this week. So let's see with one card, the overall energy with just one card the overall energy let's see okay okay so i have the card a fiery climax approaches and it says full moon in aries so spirit is saying you want to make sure that you're stepping into that fiery energy and you are determined to put yourself in a position to move forward so allow yourself to feel that fiery energy to keep your confidence up and spirit is saying work on your self-esteem you want to make sure that you are healing this energy of feeling blocked and feeling like you can't move forward and you're allowing yourself to accomplish any goal that you put your mind to so let's see how we should go about this week i'm using the monday mystics tarot deck so let's see how we should go about this week with one card please and thank you so i have the empress card so spirit is saying step into your divine feminine energy and feel worthy of your manifestations so that you can actually move forward so spirit is saying allow yourself to step into your spotlight energy and embody your divine feminine and attract the things that you feel like you deserve especially because we're in the Taurus season and I feel like the Taurus season embodies the divine feminine energy because it's like Tauruses know when to put in the work and they also know when to rest step into that energy and once you embody that energy of the divine feminine that's when you'll see your manifestations will start to flow in okay so okay i have one more card that wants to come out okay it's the sun card of course it is <laughs> so with the sun card spirit is saying you want to make sure that you're moving forward in a positive manner so uh, you're not self-sabotaging yourself you're putting yourself in a position to be at that higher level of which you deserve and spirit is saying start acting like you already have your manifestations in order to embody that energy okay so ground yourself in the spiritual and then Physically, you'll know how to ground yourself. Once you start grounding yourself in the spiritual, you'll start to be able to get the knowledge of how to ground yourself in the physical, okay? So the issue that needs to be handled, the issue that needs to be handled. Okay, so I have a couple of cards. So I have the Knight of Wands that wanted to come out. So taking action when you need to take action and also taking those risks to move forward in your present moment so that you can embody the energy of your Divine Feminine. And in order to embody that energy of the Divine Feminine, you have to be in this energy of temperance, coming into this energy of homeostasis and you're balancing your mind, body, and soul in order to come into this harmonious energy of the sun, being worthy of your present moment, okay? So once you come into that energy of homeostasis, of, you know, stability, grounding, um, the two of cups energy of where you're coming into that duality energy, Spirit is saying it's going to be easier for you to take action in your present moment. It's going to be easier for you to step out of your comfort zone and just embody that energy of feeling like you deserve to be here, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles coming out, Spirit is saying you are already abundant. So feel that energy in the spiritual so that you can bring that energy to the physical realms right now. Spirit is saying don't allow yourself to get stuck on what you don't have. Make sure that you're moving forward with what tools you have in your present moment so how we can grow this week let's see okay um how we can grow this week how we can grow this week one card please and thank you 
Last time I said one card, like how many cards came out? Three. <laughs> like, bro, what the hell? Okay, uh, as two come out, okay? But I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna take them today. The first card that came out was the Six of Wands. And then, then I have a clarification card and it's the Queen of Pentacles. So with the Six of Wands, Spirit is saying how we can grow is by allowing ourselves to succeed in life. Um, not self-sabotaging ourselves to the point of where uh, we can't even move forward or we're having such big anxiety to move forward. Spirit is saying, make sure that you have a practical plan. That's also the energy of you stepping into your Empress energy by having a practical plan plan and once you have a practical plan you're going to be able to move forward in consistency and you're also going to be able to rest when you need to rest because you have that practical plan of what you need to get done like for example i finished my project management certificate so in order for me to do that i had to see how many sections there were and to see my work schedule like my schedule in general and to see like what i needed to do a day in order to complete that when i wanted to complete it okay what i did was complete at least four sections a day and with me completing four sections a day it was easier for me to retain the information that was given to me instead of trying to finish all these sections all at once i was reading the sections and little steps and sometimes i would do more than four sections like if i really wanted to have a break the next day i would do uh maybe six sections and then the next day i wouldn't have to do too many but it was like the consistency of where i was really determined to like get this get this done like i really wanted to get it done in order to um be able to plan better you need to step into that energy of where you're being consistent with your manifestations you're being consistent of the goals that you have in mind in order to step into the six of wands energy and spirit is saying in order for you to do that you need to step into your queen of pentacles energy of where you're balancing your work life and your home life so you're not allowing yourself to overstep in your work life and you're not allowing yourself to um overstep in your home life so you're keeping yourself balanced and afloat so that you're not overworking yourself. So the advice that we have for this week, I have the two of wands and I also have another card because I wanted to keep shuffling. I don't know, today is just one of those days. So with the two of wands, spirit is saying, step out of your comfort zone, allow yourself to ask these certain questions for yourself in order to reach your personal growth goals, okay? So spirit is saying with the chariot card, spirit is saying we need to step into that energy of willpower so that we can get the stuff that we need to do done in the timely manner that we want to get it done in so spirit is saying there might be challenges that come with you trying to move forward instead of hiding from the challenges you need to figure out a practical plan of how you're going to overcome these challenges okay so that was the message of the whole week so if you resonate with this message make sure that you like comment and subscribe to my channel and bye y'all